Hi everyone, so this video is a little bit different. Um, I wanted to clean underneath my desk that has all of my perfumes and stuff on it and I figured I might as well do like an organize and chat with me kind of a video. At the same time I've just had a bit of breakfast and I've got some eye patches on because I felt like using an eye mask. And I might do my makeup later, I might film another video after this, um, I might just go out and get some tea, um, maybe do some groceries, things like that. So, my eye, I, it's not too bad underneath here, everything's in boxes, but there's a lot of space that I don't use because I don't actually sit at this desk, it's just for the display. And so I kind of wanted to use all of this space up here and this kind of doesn't match anything so I went to Kmart and I bought some crates which have white lids and that way they can stack on top of each other so I'm hoping I did my measurements correctly because I got some tall ones to fit some of the taller stuff in hopefully and the shorter ones just to fit some general stuff in so we can see how that goes but I've got a little notepad with me uh, because I thought it might be fun to talk about just things that I like, things that I don't like, whilst cleaning. So I'll put my water over there. So this is the box where I keep all of my beauty trash and I can go through that and you know there's things like candles that I've burnt up, mouthwash, all kinds of things in here. Just stuff that I remember to put aside and set aside. So I'll keep that in there because that, that doesn't have to be neat or anything. So I might start with this top one and go through some of the things that I like and dislike. I guess I'll start with something that I've been enjoying lately. It's just flavoured sparkling water, um, like mineral water, sparkling water. This one's from a company called Nexpa and it's lychee and lemon. I also like their iced tea in watermelon flavour and um, some of their kombuchas. I don't normally like kombucha um, because it's too fermented tasting to, to me, but they make some that are really good. I think there's one called um, strawberry peach, and that's really, really nice as well. So um, I think they're an Australian company, but I do like them. And that's one thing that, yeah, I've been really getting into the flavored sparkling waters. Um, just because sometimes I feel like a fizzy drink, but I don't want to have like soft drink, like um, Coca-Cola, lemonade, things like that. So I prefer that sparkling water. Another thing, because I just remembered, I looked at my plate, which you probably can see up here. It was my breakfast. Um, bagels. I um, buy them from a lady who sells at a couple of the local markets, and my dog is just squeezing under the camera to say hi. But I think um, she's called Babushka Bagels. They are so tasty. I like to get the fruit ones. So um, she does lots of different flavors. And I like the cherry bagels from her too. Uh, she does some raisin and cinnamon or fruit and cinnamon. And that's really nice. Uh, and I've got some savory bagels as well because I was just going for like the sweet kind of bagel. I don't really put anything on it. I put a little bit of butter. Um, so... You know, anybody who has ideas about what I can put on some savory bagels, I think she's got like a hot and spicy uh, tomato kind of basil bagel, lemon and uh, lemon and pepper, I think it is, and yeah, pickle, like a dill, dill and something. But yeah, there's a lot of savory ones. So puppies, you're going to have to move out of the way, buddy boys. You're going to have to go move out of the way, papa. Okay, beep beep, come on, back up, come on, out you get. No, that's not working, is it? Come on, come on, back, back up, back up. Back up, buddy, go on, off you go, go lay down. Go, go on, good boy, good boy. So I'll grab those out. Watch out, Loki. Beep beep, buddy boy, come on. What I might do is just go through these, put stuff around on the floor and then organize it from there 
and yeah go through just yeah more of the stuff that I like some of the stuff that I don't like a lot of these are hair things um, so I think some of them will be backups which I might put in a smaller one and then some of them are taller so I will put them in a taller one we'll see how that goes um, yeah, so some of them are just backup thing, not backups, but like things I haven't used yet, and other them, other, other, some of them <laughs> is just stuff that I haven't used um, at the moment or I'm trying to use. I don't really have anywhere in my house for my hair stuff um, because my bathroom, the cupboards are really really tiny, like the drawers and the cupboards under the sink, and they just don't fit a lot of stuff in there, so. I'm just going to move things around. It's just like some shampoos, conditioner. I really, really liked this scent, the Fuji Green Tea from the Body Shop, but they've discontinued it from what I can see. And this is the this is what I really enjoy is the Fuji Green Tea Refreshing Scrub Shampoo. It just smells so good, and it works really well. It's like a scrub for your scalp. It's just such a nice fresh scent and then after I smelt this and I really really liked it I went looking to see if they had like um, a perfume and I think they did but then that was discontinued so I missed out on that which it's a shame because it does smell really quite amazing and like spa like so these are just some smaller things it's been one week since you looked at me. No, um, I think I last dyed my hair in March of 2020. So it's been, what, two and a half years now? And I haven't dyed my hair. So I can do an update about that if you're interested. It's almost completely grown out. Uh, I've had my hair cut several times and I've cut like a couple of inches off each time. Um, but... Yeah, it's almost at the very, very ends. At the shorter bits, like from the back, it is. But from these top sections here, there's about mm, an inch at the most left. Um, so that's exciting. So I'm just putting these down here. Oh, and the reason I remembered that is because I've still got some of the conditioner that comes with the hair dyes. And I really, really like it. So I think that's my last one. So there we go. The little things. Dry shampoo. I can probably go in here. So I don't want to mix too much stuff up with like new stuff and old stuff. So I actually don't think I'll need the taller one. Maybe. I'll put the dry shampoos to into one. So these are just a whole bunch of wax melts and small candles, tea light candles from a shop that used to be in Picton a long time ago. Um, since closed, or it changed hands and the brand stopped making candles. So and this is a really small Remington hair straightener. I generally just use this to seal my nail wraps. Um, so that's. Not, nothing that I used, and that emptied this one. So I'll put that to the side and move these over. So I don't really want to get my stuff mixed up that I'm currently using and new stuff that I haven't used yet. So I might just put the stuff I haven't used yet into this one and that stuff in there. We'll see. Maybe I should have done it the other way around. We've got some taller stuff though, that's all. So just, yeah, mainly this is just hair stuff, so I'll just transfer it across. So I've got my little notebook here. I'll keep it up there because then I can walk you through some stuff. So I was thinking it might be fun just to share things that I like, things that I don't like. Um, whilst I do the video because it's something that I don't really have to think about a lot and might be a bit of fun. So things that I like. I wrote down a couple of things about 
sounds and stuff that I like. So a sound that I've found <laughs> that I enjoy listening to is the sound of when you open up a can of drink. Just that crack sound. Um, I really quite enjoy listening to that and hearing that noise. It's quite a satisfying noise to my ears. Um, so that's something that I like to listen to. And then also I heard it the other day and I was like, oh, that, that's also a really nice sound. I like that. And that's the sound of uh, ice in a glass, like a glass cup just being stirred. So if you've got like a glass cup with ice, just that like clicking, twinkling kind of noise that ice makes when it hits the glass, I enjoy that noise. <laughs> so I find it funny how, I guess it's a similar thing to like an ASMR. Um, well, like ASMR in general, everybody is a little bit different and people don't always like the same noises. Like, I can't stand listening to people eat or chew. There's just something about that that really annoys me and really irritates me when I hear people eating. So I know some people really enjoy the sound of people chewing. But that's just not me. I, I can't think of anything worse. That would just be horrible. Torture. <laughs> so I think I'm going to need more than one of these. So I haven't used that yet. And that one either. take the eye patches off soon they generally will take half an hour they say to leave them on so now I've got a whole heap of this root touch up stuff which I haven't used for a while sometimes the only thing that I found that with growing out my hair is that these sections on the sides have a lot of grey just in this bit and this is generally when my hair was a bit thinner anyway so sometimes I will just colour in like with some eyeshadow or like brow product or something like that. Just do a light dusting just in that area uh, so it doesn't look bald in those spots uh, because the hair is so white in that section in particular. Sometimes it can look a little bald and so yeah, that's just something that I've found to be helpful. So I might pop those to the side. I think I bought some of them when my hair was red too, which was a while ago now. I do think I'm going to need a second one. That's okay though. I'll pop that there because these are things that I do use and reach for, so I would rather have them all together. So I might start separating the dry shampoos from the rest of the stuff because you'll see I have a lot of dry shampoo um, I still haven't found a dry shampoo that I like above all other dry shampoos so I'm still always testing different dry shampoos and that's why I have so many so I'll actually put the ones that I haven't used on a different side but of the same dry shampoo container because that just makes more sense. Uh, other things that I like, I always like it when, so when I make myself like a, my, like a Milo, so it's an Australian thing, it's like a malted, malted chocolatey kind of a drink, like a powder you mix in and you have it with milk. Uh, some people have it with water but that's just strange to me, no. But um, I like to make mine with cold milk and then microwave it so it's hot. And I always like it when you've put your mug in the microwave and when your microwave finishes, you open the door and the handle of the mug lines up perfectly to you reaching in and grabbing the cup. 
so you don't have to spin the cup around and then grab the handle. It's just those little things that I really see, but I get a little bit of joy from when it happens. So it kind of just, it's like, yes, it's like a win <laughs> when that happens. So it's just a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the things that I like. So that empties out those, which is nice. Give a little bit of room to move this stuff. I might repurpose those somewhere else in the house. Yeah, I'll take these off. I do actually really like these. Um, eye patches, I think they're from, was it Skin Republic? I think it is, and it's the Hydrogel Retinol eye patches. They, they, they smell really nice too, which is just a bonus. And they just feel really soothing and calming. So that's also a plus. I don't know if they really work to reduce wrinkles or anything like that, but they do hydrate and make underneath my eyes feel nice when I've used them. So that's good enough for me. It's more about just enjoying a little bit of pampering, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I might move these boxes have got stuff in them, so I'll go through those next and see. But I think I might have a little bit of room left in these. I'll keep them open just in case I've got something else that needs to go in them. I kind of want to have stuff that I'm using in the taller ones at the top and stuff that I don't use so much on the bottom. Uh, I have a lot of sample things that I get, like gifts with purchases. Um, just when, yeah, well, small travel size things, just stuff. I got rid of a whole heap of it. I put it in a box. I let people pick what they wanted. Uh, I've sent some stuff off to like shelters and things like that in the past. So depending on how much is in there, what it is, I might look at doing that again as well. So... That's all the sample stuff. That's all stuff that I should go through. I don't think bags. Like this is like new stuff that I haven't used yet. Um, I just kind of categorize it. So that's like mascaras. This is more lip stuff. And that's face stuff. So for now, I'm just going to put it in one of these containers. This is like old eye mats. I keep the wristbands just because it's kind of fun. This was when I was in LA. So they just kind of just... I have nowhere to put them in particular. I should probably just do a scrapbooking thing or something for it. They just keep floating around in different parts. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Oh. It empties one of the boxes. So this is like skincare. That's more samples. There is some body wash and stuff in there. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, there's just body stuff. Okay, well this isn't too bad. I think I think we can work with this. I'll do this one first because I know this is all like my sample stuff and some backup. So I like to keep some of these types of samples and use them. Uh, that's how I actually discovered the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Um, so I used the little sample. And I've got the deeper colours here because I was playing around with the idea of seeing how it would work for contouring and stuff. So I do like to keep these little sample things. And um, yeah, I'll pop them all together. So they'll just go in one of the short ones because I open this box and reach for things quite a lot. So, so things that I dislike. So things that I dislike. 
I don't like it when you find underwear that's comfortable from a brand. So say in particular, I, I used to like this like underwear from Target and then they stopped making it. So that was annoying. So then I found some stuff from Kmart, some, some of their um, underwear that I liked. And then I went back to get some more. And they don't make it anymore. They've changed it again. So I hate it because I'm very fussy with with my underwear. I like it to be soft. I don't like it to be itchy. I don't like seams, but I also like cotton. So it's just really annoying when they change it up and then they get rid of the the one that you like. But yeah, that's the way it happens, unfortunately. Another thing, <laughs> now this is going to be a thing where as soon as I say it, I'm going to regret that I've said it because then I'll start thinking about it. But it's, it was like a meme. Um, there was a couple of them. So one of them is like, you're aware of your breathing or something. And then the other one is, you're now aware of your tongue. And that's the one that gets me and I hate it. And I, I really hate when you're sleeping and just trying to relax. And then you become aware of your tongue. I don't know if that's a normal thing. I don't know if yeah, that's just me being weird. But I really, really don't like it when you become aware of your tongue and then you realise that you can't get comfortable because your tongue is just in the way. <laughs> I know it's strange. But I don't know if any of you have silly things like that happen. Now some of this is skincare, which mainly all of my samples are body and skin products. So stuff that I haven't used yet, I might pop to the top so all my body stuff can go separately to that. So pop that over here. So yeah, so those are those things that I like and dislike. I think there are a few other little stories that I thought that's makeup. Put them there. Yeah, there were some other stories. There was one that I remembered recently, and I don't remember why. But when we went to Hawaii. I think it was, must have been 2018, uh, I'm pretty sure it was that time that we went. It was just funny because we hadn't slept for probably close to 36 hours at this point because we, neither my husband or I, we don't really sleep well on the plane. So we were incredibly tired by this stage and just wanted to, I guess, sleep properly. Um, but we were hungry so we went out and obviously the first place we go is the Cheesecake Factory because we don't have it here and we just enjoy a lot of the stuff that they have. So went to the Cheesecake Factory. SMS. Went to the Cheesecake Factory, um, just got what we normally did and I don't think it was like too expensive. I think at the end of the day it ended up being like $60 or something, something like that. Normally we just leave like a, what is it, 20% tip, maybe a bit more, I don't know what it was back then. We'd gotten a whole heap of currency at the airport or at just before uh, leaving Australia, so it was really crisp notes so 20s and 50s a couple of hundreds stuff like that but the paper notes because in Australia the notes are kind of plastic they're a bit slippery but the American currency it kind of is textured so some of the notes will static themselves or like cling together almost so we paid uh, we left the cash handed her the little 
thing that folds over with the tip in it. So we paid the normal amount, we paid what we thought was the tip, and that, that was it, we, we went outside. And we'd gotten probably like a meter, so it's the Cheesecake Factory that's on the main strip um, in Waikiki. And you can go kind of out this one of the side doors instead of going out the front entrance. So we just went out the side door. And then it was just like a few seconds after we got out the door, we heard somebody running up behind us saying, wait, wait. And we're like, oh no, what have we done? <laughs> but then it was the, the server and she'd come out and um, she was just really, really happy. And she was almost in tears and she's like thank you so much like this is so sweet you've made my day I had a horrible week and this is just really really sweet thank you so much and we were so tired at that point that we didn't really think we're like oh it just it was kind of like yeah okay it was on the higher end it was maybe a bit more than the normal tip would be but we didn't think much of it. And then I didn't really click until the next day that we probably had two $50 notes that had stuck together. And when we thought we'd paid, say for example, I think it was say about 50 bucks. And then the tip was like, I don't know, $15 or something. So instead of paying $65, I think we ended up paying like an extra 50. <laughs> So I think we almost gave, well, I think the tip would have been almost like a 100% tip. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. It was like we counted what we had. It wasn't anything that we would really miss. So even if it was the $50, it just, it obviously meant a lot more to her than it would have for us to keep it and I don't know, me buy just two extra candles from Bath and Body Works or something like, and yeah, it was kind of a fortunate, kind of a happy accident, I guess, in that way. I mean, I don't think she would have been that excited over like a, a you know, 25, 30% tip, to be honest, back then, uh, or it, could, it was probably more than that. It was probably, yeah, like a 30% tip. So I can only think that we, had accidentally given her a couple of notes stuck together but it was just it was funny because we were just so tired um, but it obviously meant I'm really a lot to her so uh, maybe it was meant to happen you know and I'm okay with that like I don't really mind uh, but yeah it it's just one of those fun stories, I guess. It makes me think sometimes when things like that happen. It's, yeah, like, we could have been mad at ourselves for not paying more attention. We were just so tired at that point that it could, we could have easily have not separated two of the notes. It's just funny how sometimes things like that will happen and you can either choose to be angry at not paying attention, but I would rather focus on how something that I really, we wouldn't have missed, we wouldn't have noticed it if we had have walked out of there, to be honest. It wasn't really enough for us to notice and think, goodness, where have we dropped that? Where have we left that? What's happened? Um, and it meant so much more to her. And so that's what I focus on is the fact that uh, a little mistake for us meant so much. And you know, she would have maybe gone home and told people about that. And then that would have made them smile. And then, you know, just restoring faith in people in general, you know, just kind of passing it along. And I think sometimes that's a nice thing to do, just random acts of kindness. And that's something that I want to do more of where I can, so just randomly paying for somebody's meal. Um, I was joking with my husband, well, not joking, I was actually serious that um, 
speaking with my husband about it and <laughs> he joked, he's like, oh, here I am thinking, you know, what I would do if I won lottery is like what car I would buy. Because I, I was telling you, I was thinking, if we, if we won lotto, what I would do is, um, look, my parents don't have a mortgage. That used to be the thing that I would go and pay off my parents' mortgage first without them knowing. But they don't have a mortgage anymore, so I can't do that. Um, but one thing that I would like to do would be to, I guess, go to a grocery store. Like here we've got Coles, Woolworths and stuff. And just set it up where for a certain time of the day, period of the day, whatever it might be, is that you get them in on it and they pay for everybody's groceries. So whether or not, you know, we just set up a card that's used or, you know, do something like that. And so each person's told, oh no, that's okay. Somebody's paid for your groceries. So it's, they just don't know. I, th I think that would be, that would be something that I would really like to do. So if I'm ever in a position where I can, so if I, like, say, won a lot of money or something like that, or just for whatever reason was in that position, that's something that I want to do, is just at random go to a grocery store or set it up with them or a small business. There's a few small businesses that we go to. There's a German restaurant that we go to that we would like to do it at so like one night just cover the everybody's bill um and there's a southwest barbecue place that we go to at appen um a lot and the person who owns it's really nice and so we'd probably do something like that out there too just a few small businesses around the area um I think it would be nice, it would be fun. It would be something that would put a smile on my face, but also put smiles on lots of faces. And I just, yeah, it would be fun. That's, that's what I like to think of and dream about. It's doing things like that if I can. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I'm pretty much finished so I am just putting these boxes back underneath now and it looks like they're going to fit I think that looks better just neat tidy everything's a little bit more organized uh, I've actually still got a little bit of room now so if I did want to sit here I could so that's also good yeah well that's done Thank you for spending time with me today doing that. Um, it was good to just have a chat again and go through these things. Um, you, might, you might be able to see up there, there's a few things that I've got going on. If you're watching my fragrances of the week, if you haven't guessed already what I'm doing, definitely when you see the next one, you will <laughs> probably guess what I'm doing. Um, but I'm starting to review scents of a certain category and I didn't realize how many of that category I actually owned and there were things that I didn't even realize were part of this category that are part of that category and uh, yeah I'm trying all of them and now I just have to decide whether or not I'm going to have it as one big video or split it across a couple of videos but that's okay I can work that out but that's it so that's it for now hope you all enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions or recommendations for videos suggestions for organizing any tips to make this space better I'm open to that too and yeah Hope you're all having a fantastic afternoon, morning or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye for now.